Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay. If this is your first time here, welcome. So today I wanted to talk to you about using cash rewards and credit card points to help you purchase luxury items. And just a quick disclaimer, I am not suggesting for anyone to get themselves into debt to obtain the rewards or the points. Um, it all depends on your lifestyle as well as your monthly budget. Um, however, I am certified and licensed to speak about certain financial services and products. So I know a little bit about this stuff. Um, I have been using the system for quite some time and I definitely um, reap the rewards and I definitely benefit from it. And I can assure you that if you have a plan, you can, I think, achieve quicker the luxury stuff that you would like. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna talk about the best cards for 2017 in terms of cash rewards. And then I will discuss the ones that I have and why I have them. And then also I have a department store credit card and I'll talk about that as well. And then how I kind of plan and use the points. All right, so I have my iPhone here because I just want to make sure that I am thorough with the information and that I don't miss anything. So um, just quickly, I'm gonna talk about a couple of the cards and uh, they are the Discover It Cashback Match Card, the Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards Credit Card, Wells Fargo Cash Wise Visa Card, Bank of America Cash Rewards Credit Card, Blue Cash Everyday Card from American Express, and City Double Cash. So depending on who you bank with, um, you know, it's always helpful if you already have a relationship with any of them. Um, from this list, I have two, and the first one that I will talk about is the Bank of America Cash Rewards. Now, I've been a customer of Bank of America for over 10 years. When I purchased my apartment, which is now my studio, uh, it was easier for me to obtain this credit card because of the relationship and status that I have with them. Now, um, other reasons why I like this particular credit card is because you get 3% on gas and 2% on groceries. And you, you know now I believe you can also use this at wholesale clubs. So if you go to Costco or BJ's or Sam's, you can now use this credit card and then you can get the rewards there as well. Uh, so every time I go and get gas, I'll use the card, groceries, uh, and I tend to go to two different supermarkets. Um, I get double the rewards there. And then obviously when I go to Costco, because I can't leave that place without spending, you know, less than $300. It's just the way it is. Um, so at the end of my billing cycle, I get to see how much I have in rewards. Um, and then I'll talk about how I use this in a little bit. So aside from the Bank of America, I also have the um, American Express, the everyday card. And with American Express, I have two. I have one for personal and one for the business. I personally think that American Express has a great program. There's tons and tons of benefits. Um, a couple of them are that you can link the cards together. So if you have a business and you want to take a client out for lunch or buy office supplies, that day you'll get points for that and then that same day you go you know let's just say shopping um, you can charge it with your Amex and then you get points for that so it's two separate uh, cards and then you get more points so I like that because then at the end of the billing cycle it all adds up uh, another great benefit is that if you work for corporate America or if you have a corporate Amex card you can also link that so then you get three cards linked and then you get all the points. And I know I took advantage of that when I worked in corporate America. So I know that at the end of the billing cycle, I was able to get thousands of points. So it was definitely helpful. Um, but also American Express has relationships with Neiman Markets and Saks Fifth Avenue. So let's just say 
those are the two places you like to purchase the luxury goods, um, you know, you definitely get the rewards there. Uh, I also know that after a certain amount of purchases per month with the Amex, which I believe it's 20, then you get double the points. So anywhere that I go where they don't accept, um, well, most of the time they do accept the visa, but, um, Anywhere I go that they do accept American Express, I always charge, uh, you know, my American Express. And, you know, just because even if it's a cup of coffee that, or Starbucks, let's just say, which is four or five bucks, I just charge it because I know I'm going to get that extra point. So every month I always make sure to hit the 20 purchases per month. Um, but, you know, just quickly, just so I don't confuse you, you know, what I like to do at the beginning of the month is to make sure that I have the money in savings before I can even start doing any of this because then that defeats the purpose, right? Then I'm going to get myself back into debt. So you want to make sure that you have the funds to make the full payment at the end of the billing cycle or partial, whatever fits your budget. Um, so aside from these two cards or three, because I have two of the Amex, um, I also have a Nordstrom's credit card. And if you are familiar with Nordstrom's, you know that you'll get the notes in the mail, which is very helpful because, you know, if you want to buy Valentino shoes or you want to buy an Yves Saint Laurent bag or Burberry trench coat, whatever it is, that you know, helps, you can definitely apply the notes. Now, I am very familiar with Nordstrom's. I used to sell to Nordstrom's years ago when I was in the fashion industry. And then also, um, I'm familiar with the customer service policy. And I honestly do think they have great customer service. So uh, it's just helpful for me. And, you know, you can also get credit cards from Bloomingdale's and Saks and Neiman's. But, you know, for my lifestyle and knowing how I am when it comes to using credit cards, I just chose one. And for that, I chose Nordstrom's. Um, I just know that, you know, in, you know, just as a general um, comment, uh, if you do want to have like your best credit score, I do think that a mixture of like what I have works and uh, you'll definitely see the, the difference when it comes to your score because you want to be able to get the best rates. And once creditors um, see that, uh, then it's to your benefit. Um, so I know that, you know, if you have a Nordstrom's and maybe a Neiman's, that's okay. But I don't think that it's a good idea if you have Nordstrom's, Neiman's, and Zach's. I just don't think that that's going to work on top of everything else if, if you have this kind of system that I have. So just be you know, mindful of that. Um, so then what I do every, um, I just want to say maybe, I don't want to say every quarter, but maybe every six months, let's just say every six months or once a year, I look at my balance of the cash rewards that I have with Bank of America and how many points I have with American Express. Um, and just to quickly talk about the Bank of America one, you know, depending on your status, I know that if you have the platinum rewards status, if you say, for example, have $200 in cash rewards and you, you know, take that and apply that to, um, one of your accounts and you know deposit for lack of a better word you deposit that into the account you get more money so it's kind of like you get more cash so that's definitely helpful so that's you know what i do you know at the end of the year because the way that i like to shop for luxury goods is that i plan it for the year and then you know when it's holiday shopping season which pretty much for me starts now in october um, at the end of december or beginning of january is kind of where i shop for my luxury items because then i accumulate my cash rewards from my bank of america card and then my amex and then i combine that together so Let's just say I have, I don't know, 400 bucks with cash rewards. I'm going to use that and then I'll take the money out of the savings or checking account, whatever I transfer that account to. Um, and then if I have, let's just say 14,000 points with Amex, then I'll get, you know, gift certificates at Neiman's or Saks. And then that's what I will use to apply at the end of the year or January, if that's what I decide to do to purchase any of the luxury items. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, that's always the case case because it all depends how much you have but just to give you an example this past uh, January the beginning of 2017 I had accumulated quite a bit at, um, with Amex so what I did was I purchased my Pichette Matisse at Saks Fifth Avenue and all I had to pay was 
you know, were the taxes because, you know, the amount that I had covered the bag, which was great. And then um, I also got uh, more gift cards, um, gift certificates at Neiman's, and that's how I was able to purchase like my Christian Louis Vuitton shoes. So, you know, it's kind of a, a 12 year, a 12 month plan, um, or you can even do six months, whatever it is that works for you. I just know that I kind of motivate myself to, you know, purchase whatever it is that I need for my everyday life and plan it, making sure that I have the money and savings to pay for it. Um, but that I plan it this way. So then every six months or once a year, I get to treat myself to these luxury items. Um, it definitely will speed up the process depending what it is that of course you want on your wish list and you know if it's you know more Chanel then that might take you a little bit more time as Chanel is probably more expensive uh, but you kind of get the idea so that's kind of how I use the credit cards to my benefit and you know if you do have a business or you know if you have the Amex card but you don't have a business but then you have someone in your household that also uses your Amex make sure that you guys link the cards together because it will definitely help American Express will not penalize you for that they would just give you more points and um, you know I'll leave you with this last um, comment is that I am one of those customers that I call uh, Bank of America often and uh, now I have a mortgage with Bank of America and I've called them to ask if I can use my visa or my American Express to pay for my mortgage because I just want to get more rewards I was told that I was not the only customer who had questioned that I you know was told that they might be working on that I think I you know they're just probably trying to figure out how they can make more money right because banks that's what they do they sell debt um, so it's, it's out there so I don't know if anyone has heard any of that um, but I am suggesting <laughs> that if you have any of these cards um, suggest that to Bank of America whoever you do business with whether it's Wells Fargo or Citibank all right guys so i hope that this was helpful i know that it was a lot of information i will also make sure to list everything on my blog in case you want to reference uh you know to any of of the cards or any of the details that i mentioned on this video will be there or you can also uh, just replay the video um but uh you know let me know if you have any questions any comments and if you have uh, any experiences with doing this kind of system if you have another one please feel free to share it with all of us so as always thank you so much for watching if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up to subscribe and i'll see you very soon on my next video bye